welcome. Let me tell you the story about the remote, mysterious island called Kishi. The story will take your imagination back to the ancient time. This mystic island is located in Lake Anega on the Caribbean soil. Their closest neighbors are Finns and Russian people. Karelian culture started developing during the Viking time. At that time, people had faith in magic. Karelian people believe in Selu Lintu, Soul Bird. They believe that the bird brings the soul to a newborn. and also takes the soul with them when a person dies. Statues of these birds still exist in the graveyards of Karelia and Finland today. Many legends were born at that time. I would like to tell you one of these legends about the carpet and nectar and the most amazing church he built on Kishi Island. This legend will take you to the 17th century. At that time, more people moved to Kishi Island, more people started to settle there. They built all their houses, furniture, dishes, utensils, with aspen, oak, or pine wood. They constructed a wooden windmill, barns, and a small church. One day, a lightning strike caused the small church to catch fire, and it was destroyed. The loss of the church sent the Kiji people on a desperate search for a new master carpenter. One sunny day, a new carpenter arrived from the south. His name was Nectar. His only belongings were an axe and a sacred book. The axe was a special one. It was purified from all evil and blessed by the saint. Carpenter Nectar did not agree simply to rebuild the old church. He had a great vision for a new one. The sight of the new church came to him in a dream while he was resting under the tall, beautiful tree. Nectar believed then as he transfer a tree into a woodlog, the tree does not die. The tree continues its life as a house or church he builds with it. Nectar also believed that nails are not pure enough to build a house of God. Putting a nail into a pure tree log could unleash evil. So he decided to build a new church without a single name and using only his blessed axe. He prayed for inspiration to develop a new construction method without using nails to join the logs. After many 
long prayers, he finally had a vision of the wooden interlock technique. And then he began his work. Nobody knows how long it took Nectar to build this church, but when he finished it, he threw his axe into the lake and said, There was not and will be not another one to match it. Master Nectar disappeared right after he completed his mission. Nobody ever saw him again. Many people are still searching for that magical axe in the Nyaga Lake. Seems like the prophecy of the Master Nectar came true. There was not and will be not another church to match it. Indeed. That's how Kiji Island looks today. The Transfiguration Church is still the tallest wooden structure in the world. Today, boats are still the main transportation in Kiji Island. Currently, Kiji Pagost contains about 87 wooden structures, 20 of them peasant houses, a bell tower, two churches, a window, barns, and sounds. The domes of the Transfiguration Church are still shining brilliantly today.